this video, we shall see how to do the computer drafting of the orthographic projection of solids using the Solid Edge software. Coming to the problem statement, a pentagonal prism 25 mm sides of base and 60 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its edges of the base. Draw the projections of the prism when the axis is inclined to HP at 40 degrees and VP at 30 degrees. So looking at the problem, we can arrive at a set of conclusions. The type of solid here is the pentagonal prism and also it is resting on one of its edges of the base. The inclinations are with respect to the HP and VP is with respect to the axis. So here the axis is inclined to the HP at an angle of 40 degrees and with respect to the VP it is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees. So here it is very clearly mentioned that it is not appears to be inclined but it is simply inclined to VP at 30 degrees. So since the parameter is going to change its length whenever we consider with respect to the uh, first position and uh, this axis is used as the inclination parameter for the second position we have to consider the beta angle here. So now let us draft the solution for this problem. So let us draw the xy line. So let us select a continuous line of thickness 0.18 mm and let us draw the xy line so draw a line of any arbitrary length of thickness 0.18 and annotate the line as x and y and also the reference planes as vp and hp now let us draw the top view of the pentagonal prism so for this let us consider a continuous line of thickness 0.50 mm so let us first draw the pentagon and then align it as per the given resting condition. So we have completed the top view of the pentagonal prism which is resting on one of its edges of the base. So from each of the corners let us draw the projection lines. To get the front view of the pentagonal prism. So the point of intersection of these median lines or the diagonals shall mark the origin of the axis line. So from this point of intersection draw a projection line to intersect the axis and from here let us draw the axis line. So let us select a line of thickness 0.13 but the type of the line is a chain line. So let us enter the axis length as 60 mm. Now let us draw the front view of the pentagonal prism. Select a line of thickness 0.50 mm and then connect all the end points of the projections drawn and then complete the front view of the pentagonal prism. So this completes the front. Now let us rotate the base of the prism in such a way that it is inclined at an angle of 90 minus 40 degrees. So I can just see that if we measure the inclination of the axis with respect to the horizontal plane it will be equal to 40 degrees as given in the problem statement. So this completes the front view of the pentagonal prism when its axis is inclined at an angle of 40 degrees to the HP. So now we will complete the top view of this condition. So now we have drawn the projection lines to complete the top view. So what we can observe here is the farthest point will be B1 and A1. So from this corner points all the lines will be the hidden lines and rest of the outer edges shall be the visible lines. So in order to complete that let us select the line of thickness 0.50 mm. So let us start from the top face of the prism. So the observer is looking from this direction and for him the farthest points are B1 and A1. So next we will start with the top face that is this is the corner A while this is the corner B. Next from corner B to corner C and next 
to the point of intersection of corner D. So corner D is here from corner D to corner E and back to corner A. So this is the top face of the pentagonal prism. So now we'll go for the bottom face. So the bottom face will start from here. It should be a hidden line. So let us select the hidden line of thickness 0 0.50 mm. So from the point of intersection of the two projection lines, mark the point A1 and next the next point of intersection is B1. And similarly from B1 to C1, it is hidden line. And also from A1 to E1, it will be the hidden line. So we'll get the point of intersection. You can just stop at that point. The rest of the lines will be the hidden lines. So from E1 to D1 and from D1 to C1. Now let us complete the outer edges. That is from, uh, let us start from uh, A1. So this will be again a hidden line. So from A1 to A, it will be a hidden line. Similarly, from C1 to okay B1 to B, it will be the hidden line. Rest all the outer edges are the visible edges. So we'll complete this. So from C1 to C and then D1 to D. So the axis line will be overlapped by this particular edge. So the axis will not be visible. And next is from E1 to E. So this part of the axis line we can consider. So what we can do is we can just trim this portion and also here this portion so that we get these as a separate entities for inclination with respect to the next position so you can also trim the projection lines behind this hidden edges so you can use the extend to next option to complete the edges that were trimmed earlier. So now we'll complete the axis part of this uh, top view of the prism. So go for the line option, select the line of thickness 0 0.13 and select a chain line so from this point to this point we can show the axis so we will annotate the top view of the pentagonal prism so we'll start with the corner a corner b corner c and corner d followed by the corner e and this is the axis point o similarly here this is the corner a1 b1 c1 d1 and e1 and this is the axis point which is o1 so if you just move this you can just see this entire line is a continuous line so we might not get this point o1 in the next position so what we will do is we'll just trim this and ensure that o and o1 is identified in the second position that we consider that is with respect to the vp so we'll make this a discontinuous line that is from O1 to D1. So you can just see that now the point O1 and O is available for us when we take this prism as the reference for the inclination with respect to the VP. So with respect to the VP, O, O1 must be inclined. So we are going to construct the beta angle. So now we'll see how to construct the beta angle part. So before that, we will see what is the dimension of the axis in the distorted position so it is 45.96 while in the actual resting condition the axis shall measure 60 mm as per the given problem statement so now we'll see how to construct the beta angle so for that let us draw a line of any arbitrary length so select the line thickness of 0.13 draw a line of any arbitrary length from any arbitrary point draw a line of length 60 mm incline at the given angle of 30 degrees so that is the angle phi so from the end point of this line let us draw the locus line which is again parallel to the given or the drawn line in the first position so now we are going to consider the arc by center point so from the point o cut an arc which is having a radii that is equal to the length of the axis in the distorted position that is equal to 
45.96 so now let us cut an arc in such a way that it is going to intersect the locus line so from the point of intersection of the locus line let us consider a point and then join it back to the point O so this is O and this is O1 from the initial position and this is O1 from the second position so now we are going to measure the axis or sorry the angle which is equal to 41 degrees that is the beta angle and this is the given angle phi which is equal to 30 degrees so now here i'll be considering a line of inclination which is equal to 41 degrees so go to the line option and from here let us try to draw a line which is inclined to the vp at an angle of 41 degrees so we have to consider the beta angle and then we are going to place this pentagonal prism with its axis o o1 aligned along this particular 41 degree line and then complete the front view so you can just show the angle which is equal to 41 degrees so this is the value of the beta angle So now we can see that the pentagonal prism is inclined with its axis O O1 aligned at an angle of 41 degrees to the vertical plane that is the given beta angle so it appears to be inclined at an angle of 41 degrees even though it is actually inclined at an angle of 30 degrees. So now let us complete the front view by drawing the projection lines from the front view of the pentagonal prism from the second position and then drawing the vertical projections from the top view of the third position so these are the projection lines to get the front view let us consider the top face first so from each of the corners let us draw the projection lines and then intersect them along with the corresponding projection lines of the front view use the trim option to trim the projection lines which is not required for our constructions so for the observer the point E will be the farthest point or the corner so from uh, the corner E all the lines originating will be the hidden lines so let us consider the line of thickness 0.50 mm and complete the top face of the prism so let us start from the corner A so the corner A is on this point so you have to use your zoom option wisely so this is the corner A and then this is the corner B and then from corner B we have to go for the corner C which is here and then back to the corner D so from D to E and then from E to A so this completes the top face of the pentagonal prism but however I told that the corner E is the farthest point so the corner E is here so this edge and this edge which is originating from the corner E shall be invisible that is we have to represent it by the dotted lines so we will annotate it simultaneously so that we can avoid the confusions for the next step By following the similar steps, we will complete the bottom face of the prism and then connect the corresponding edges and complete the front view.
So we have drawn the projection lines from the bottom face of the prism and then we will complete the bottom face now. So select a line of thickness 0 0.50 mm. So let us start from the corner A. So this is the corner A. So the corner A and the axis line will overlap. So there is a very small difference between the two projection lines. So you have to choose it very correctly. And from A to A1 to B1. Then from B1 to C1 is here. So this is the point of C1. From C1 to the corner D1. And from D1 to the corner E1. And E1 to the corner A1. So this completes the bottom face of the prism. So since the bottom face, the observer is going to look in this direction, this bottom face is visible completely. So now let us join the corresponding edges. So let us start from the corner A1. So A1 to A dash, similarly B1 to B dash, we are going to complete. So here it will be the hidden line. So we'll select the hidden line. So from A to a1 to a dash it is hidden similarly from e to e1 to e dash it will be hidden so now we'll go for the visible edges so the outer edges will be visible so d2 d dash is a visible line similarly complete the other edges so from e uh, from c1 to c Similarly, from B1 to B dash. So this completes the front view of the pentagonal prism. So now let us draw the axis line. So select the chain line of thickness 0.13 mm. So from O1 to O, let us draw this line. So this is the axis of the pentagonal prism. So now let us annotate the bottom face of the prism and then complete the problem. So with this we complete the front view of the pentagonal prism when its axis appears to be inclined at an angle of 41 degrees to the VP though the actual angle is 30 degrees. So now we can indicate the direction of the projection lines by using the lead.